What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, coming back at you with another iPhone 10 test. So this time around, bend and scratch. Something I usually do with all new iPhones that come out, this one is no exception. It's particularly interesting because after all the abuse I've put this iPhone 10 through, it looks like it's brand new. I've dropped it, uh, I've actually dropped it earlier today from 30 feet and it's still without a scratch. It's just crazy. So I wanted to see just how durable is this glass, the stainless steel border material, actually with a Mohs scale, we're gonna do some scratch testing and then get a little less scientific. And then over here, we got some rusty blades, which will do the trick if those don't, <laughs> not really. Just like an all around scratch and bend test to see how durable this phone is when really getting technical on it. So I wanna start with the Mohs scale here. We're gonna start with obviously two, three isn't gonna be a thing here. We're gonna test the lens as well, but uh, we're gonna quickly jump up to number four here for the rear glass. Definitely not. Number five, nope. Same deal with this glass here, so. Definitely isn't scratchable by that. The border itself, stainless steel is. So number five does apply scratches to stainless steel. They're very subtle, not very deep, but they are there. So uh, scratch resistance on the borders is the first thing that's you have to worry about that I can see. So it's a little hard to see, but there are definitely little scratches there. So yeah, be careful with the borders, even though mine have been looking good after all those drops the glass now is more resistant. So jumping up to the number six here, leaving marks, but they can be rubbed off, I believe, or no. Those are very light scratches actually now, yeah. So the number six, so this is feldspar, whatever material that is, it is capable of scratching it. Not as resistant as I thought. So about where the iPhone 8 started getting scratched as well. The lens, which is sapphire crystal, Oh, I just cracked it on accident. <laughs> wow. It's not scratchable by it, but I nicked the inside of the microphone, a little insert, and it just cracked the glass. So be careful with that glass as well, but not too terrible. I'm sure this isn't a very spendy replacement. Uh, the side, oh yeah, those are deep scratches already on the side with number six. Number seven, going to this already, Oh, ouch, that hurts. Yeah, very, very scratchable, already past number six. With the glass, oh, number seven, light scratches, same deal. Also, sapphire not affected by number seven. So overall, pretty resistant, getting into the really high numbers here with number eight, number nine. Oh, yeah, that really eats into the glass right there. So definitely ugly. And the side, very, very scratchable with the number eight. So about number six and above, the hardness material will affect the iPhones. And the sapphire glass is scratchable by the number eight. All right, so as far as scratches go, when getting really technical, number six, which is the feldspar and above will affect it. So now something a little less technical, keys, a knife in your pocket that affect it and uh, it does, so it does leave faint scratches, which may or may not be visible, but I can see them, they're not too big. And this is a really sharp knife, so it does leave something in there. I definitely wouldn't leave this around your keys as it will be affected by those in your pocket. So also, I do have a screen protector on here, but I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off. I'm gonna pop this in, it's flawless still after all those drops. Rusty razor blades, some uh, bolts, screws. Let's pop it in there and give it a shake. See uh, how it looks when it comes out of it. Okay, try not to get tetanus here. Let's take a look at this, super dusty. I can see where I scratched it with the knife, with the most scale testers, 
but from those scratches in the bin, I can't really find anything. Maybe a little tiny one here. Oh yeah, there are some here and there, but this glass is remarkably resistant to scratches. Still though, you do need a screw protector for it. So as far as scratching goes, this thing is very resistant. That's what we know. Let's go ahead and test the actual frame. It's really uh, interesting because this is stainless steel, one of the first in a long time, and that's strong. You know, stainless steel is less bendable than aluminum, so I'm, you know, I'm more than positive that this thing is gonna do better. If you guys know me, I've already bent so many iPhones. The 6 was super bendable, 6S as well. Three, two, one. Oh, shoot. Wow, I did not expect to actually break that in half. This is far, far, far from anything you're gonna encounter, but we just ripped the top of an iPhone 6S off. Um, I'm sure this will be the hardest to bend, and uh, I don't even know if I'll be able to. Here we go. Three, two, and uh, let's do it this way. One. Oh, I literally just started applying pressure, and the antenna band right here just caved in. It's very subtle, but there is a little bend right there. Oh my goodness, that didn't take much effort at all. Let's try it. Oh, the other one just snapped. I just felt it, look at that. It's a very subtle bend, but they crack at these with a very minimal effort. So it's a very, very subtle little separation between the borders there. But that didn't take much effort at all. So I'm gonna keep going here. Let's try the other side. Oh, it crackled again and it happened. So what if this is possibly an issue? I don't know, it doesn't take that much strength. And the last one just cracked right here. So it starts to separate at the very bottom seam. You can see that the gap is a little bit bigger and up here as well. Just for some greater detail there, that is where the separation point is. You can see how the plastic literally wants to leave the stainless steel it's already bulging. And I feel like if I really tried to pry here, I could uh, easily rip this bottom piece off. As you can see, it really wants to wiggle out of there. So uh, definitely are some failure points on this iPhone. You can see this one here is opened up as well, just slightly. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that. This iPhone has endured enough torture already. So I did slightly bend that at these, so it's really, really hard to bend the middle, and I'm gonna try it. Yeah, that is not happening, no way. The bottoms do definitely bend. <laughs> That's funny, it, it has that warp. The, the middle here is completely straight. It's the edges that go off. But it is, you know, stainless steel is strong. <sighs> the failure point is not gonna be on the stainless steel. It's right there, so the actual display is coming out now. Yeah, so there's literally just a piece of plastic in between these uh, sections here. And then the glass panel is coming off. Crazy. I did not think it would be that simple. So I'm gonna try and bend the top one a little bit more. <sighs> yeah, it's really tough, you know. I doubt this is gonna be happening, but still a cause for concern that I was able to do that so simply. All right, guys, so is it uh, strong? Definitely stronger than the eight. I wasn't able to get as much of a bend out of it, but it does have failure points. Don't get me wrong. Stainless steel is uh, split apart by plastic on the frame. And uh, this way I'm gonna be able to get into the glass here to do a clear glass mod, I guess. Huh. Okay, so uh, guys, there it is. Definitely don't be bending your iPhone uh, 10 as it is possible. And uh, still, I gotta say, this thing has upheld its reputation with me as a tank. It just refuses to die, refuses in every test to accept damage. But that does pop back into place almost. And I bet I can bend it back in the other way to get it back. Oh yeah. <laughs> It does pop out a little bit, but it's fine. Yeah, definitely looks good. All right, guys, there it is. Uh, I think it passed this test with flying colors. Is pretty resistant to scratches up until the number six on the most scale. And uh, as far as Ben goes, 
did resist that pretty well. So thanks for watching guys. Take care of your iPhone 10, please. After seeing all these tests, baby yours, hold it closely, whisper nice things into its earpiece and uh, put a case on and a screen protector. You don't want these kind of scratches on the back of the phone or ruining the beautiful stainless steel borders. All right guys, hope you enjoyed it. Peace. I really hope I don't blow this phone up right now. I'm scared. Oh, yes, I got it. And I didn't destroy this, I almost did. Okay, well this may look like a mess, it is. This is exactly what I was trying to achieve. So I got the glass off and now the clear iPhone 10 mod is going to be possible.